Well, good morning. Our lecture today is about a different method for establishing a closer relationship for removable partial ledger. So the first method is a direct opposition of the cast. It is used when you have a stable occlusal contact uh, providing by the remaining natural teeth. Actually, it is used in Kennedy class 3 classification. And a few teeth are going to be replaced. And we have enough occlusal stoppers from the right, left, and anteriorly. You can just hold the cast by your hands. And then you should stabilize both upper and lower cast by means of old birds and then do mounting on the articulators and proceed for construction of your prosthesis. Well, the second method is the interocclusal record with posterior teeth remaining. Actually, this is a modification of the first one, but it is used when sufficient natural teeth remain to support the RPD, such as in class 3 or in class 4. But the relation of the opposing uh, natural teeth does not permit the occluding of cast by hand. So in this case, you can take the interocclusal record by some sort of interocclusal medium, just like the case in fixed uh, prosthesis. Uh, you can use wax or uh, silicone impression material you can see but the least accurate is the wax but if you want to to have a correct uh, interocclusal record you can use wax and further correct it by means of a zinc, zinc oxide eugenol as you can see in the picture also as i said uh, different interocclusal material is used such as uh, silicone uh, polyether, also you can use uh, plaster impression materials and, uh, of, and even polyethers and uh, doff of cold cure acrylic. Well, to make the interocclusal record more accurate, we can use what is called an adjustable framework. We have different type of these frameworks. Some are used for unilateral situation and some are used for bilateral. It can hold the wax and the corrected zinc oxide eugenols. And then after uh, taking your interocclusal record, you proceed your mounting procedure by attaching the cast to the maxillary one, as you can see in these pictures. Well, the third method is the occlusal relation using occlusal rim on record basis. And uh, this, this method is indicated when you have uh, one or more distal extension areas, such as in uh, Kennedy glass one and Kennedy glass two. And also when you have a tooth supported edential area, which is too long, or could be used in cases the opposing teeth does not uh, meet. As you can see in this picture, this is a, a Kennedy a class 1 uh, classification and an occlusal rim is constructed and the enter occlusal record is recorded by means of uh, silicone impression materials. Also, this method is indicated in case if you have a, a Kennedy glass 2 with modification 1, as you can see in the maxillary and mandibular cast, uh, an occlusarum is fabricated. And if you want to have more stability of an occlusarum, uh, a class wire could be added, it could be added to the occlusarum. Uh, to improve the stability and retention of the record bases so that your intercruiser records will become more accurate. As you can see in these pictures, a record base has been made 
and a uh, class wire have been added to hold uh, the record base accurately in the patient mouth so as to have a more accurate intercluser record. Well, in case if you have uh, a removable partha denture framework, you can make the intercluser record after making sure that all the adjustments have been done inside the patient mouth. You replace your framework back again in your cast. You check it, it is uh, correctly positioned. And then you put a separating medium on the frame and uh, an acrylic, uh, autopolymerized acrylic is added to the free end extension saddles. Mm -hmm. And after complete polymerization of the acrylic materials, uh, a wax occlusarium is added to the acrylic and then you proceed to take the interocluser record by any materials previously mentioned such as wax or zinc oxide eugenol or silicone impression material. Well, another method is your relation record made entirely on occlusarium and we have different situations that can use this method as when we have uh, a complete danger opposed by removable parts of danger also could be used in rare situation when you have only few remaining teeth that does not include or when you have either arch have only anterior teeth remaining as you can see in uh, this picture is a, a maxillary complete denture opposed by Kennedy class 1 classification. You construct an upper closer rim just in complete denture as you made in complete denture. And you made a, a lower closer rim with wax. And then uh, you check it inside the patient mouth and you do uh, and you do the enter closer record with any sort of impression material as we mentioned previously by means of uh, wax or zinc oxide registrating uh, materials or silicone impression material also could be used. Well, an important step when you do your interocclusal record entirely on the occlusal rim, such as if you have a maxillary opposed by a removable parts of denture, uh, two grooves to be carved and the posterior part of the maxillary rim to be opposed by the adding registrating material as you can see on this picture so so that when you remove the closer room from the patient mouth uh, these uh, grooves will act as a guide to replace your closer rim uh, correctly in the articulators well, an important note when you are going to record your uh, interocclusal record is when to use uh, central occlusion and when to use the central relation. You all know that the central occlusion is a tooth to tooth relation and it is the intercuspation of teeth when the mandible is in centric uh, relation and this may or not or does not uh, coincide with the maximum intercuspation but the centric relation it is a reference bony position and it is the uh, it is the position when the condyle is the in the most anterior superior position in the glenoid fossa and in most of the patient there is uh, the centric relation and centric occlusion does not coincide and actually the centric relation is uh, posterior to the centric occlusal position about 0.5 to 2 millimeters well we go uh, to centric occlusion we need it we go to the centric occlusion in cases of we are going to replace a, a few teeth such as in a small space in Kennedy class 3 classification you go to central occlusion if the patient has a stable physiological occlusion 
but we go to a central collation in case of missing posterior teeth in uh, glass uh, 1 and glass 2 cannula classification also in case of uh, maxillary complete denture opposed by removable partial dentures well as you can see in this picture the in this case a centric relation should be recorded for distal extension and also as i said when you have a complete denture opposed by an RPD or when both arches are edentulous, we go to centric relation. <clears throat> well, a special con consideration should be paid when you have a maxillary uh, clusarium opposed by super erupted natural teeth, as you can see, in case of A the lower central incisor is super, super erupted so the, the modification to be done in the upper occlusal rim is keep the labial part supporting the upper lip and the palatal part is thinned, uh, is thinned and a groove is made palatally to accommodate uh, the position of the super erupted uh, central incisors it is usually seen in case of uh, complete denture opposed by uh, mandibular natural uh, teeth. Also in case of B, when you are going to replace a missing anterior segment, special attention should be made to the level of the closer rim. Uh, you should evaluate uh, the level of a closer rim in respect to the length limb and the level of the adjacent teeth. Well, a special attention should be made when you have a, a super erupted uh, natural teeth. As you can see in A, the closer rim is uh, in case of a class 3 candy classification and there is a super erupted premolar. The, the modification in the closer rim, you just made a step in the wax a step in the wax of the closer rim to accommodate the position of the super erupted premolars so that the cast uh, is glued properly and also in case of B uh, the thickness of the closer rim should be in accordance with the neutral zone in which the forces exerted by the tongue inward and the cheek outward are equals and also the level of the closer rim posteriorly should not exceed the two-thirds of the retromolar pad. Well, if you face such a difficult situation, when you have a deep bite and over eruption of the teeth to reach nearly the crest of the ridge, in such a case you could never put an closer rim, you, we may increase the vertical dimension uh, by two millimeters incrementally, uh, which means step by step. We made an occlusal rim and we open the bite slightly two millimeters and we check the difference between the rest and the occlusal vertical dimension. And we must make sure that the patient could uh, physiologically tolerate the increase in the vertical dimension and then after the patient get tolerated to the to the to the increase uh, the vertical dimension and then we proceed doing our removable partial denture thank you for your listening